hello subscribers welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you on how to draw a longitudinal profile or long section profile using excel so in a situation whereby you have this type of data so how to get it done what you simply do is that firstly for this place here you delete these numbers you put changes on it so to do that, you, yeah, you just put a zero. So you move away from there and you return back to the box. And then you right click and click on format still. So you click on, you come to custom and then you change this to this ordinary zero, not zero. You change this from zero, 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 five, zero, zero to zero, zero. So then yeah, you just press then you just press plus zero 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 under the type you can see it's other type that you press plus zero 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 then you click ok so this is going to be zero 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 plus zero 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 so here is going to be 20 using a 20 meter interval so what you simply do is that you select this ctrl c you copy this place here and then you click on this format in Printer and then you select this back, this 20 back. So if, which is now on what, which is now on 10 inch 20. So what you simply do is you select this two, you copy the two together and then you drop it down to the last value. So which is which you we have gen h 000 to gen 360. So uh, what you simply do is that you copy the weight of the data, you control C it. Then after you copy this, you click on new sheets, and then what you see is under this place here, you can just put paste it here. You select the type of place that you want. You make sure it's a uh, transpose. The place that you use is going to be on transpose. So you drop it here. So now which means that we copy the data changes to the new sheets. Then after that, what you do next is that you copy this change, changes, you drop it, you cut it, you cut it, you right click and then you click on cut, and then you do what you put it down so that the change the changes will be down. Then you click on what you click on paste. So the next thing for you to do is to copy. You select all the data, then you click on these icons that says bottom border, you click on it. So under your data now, you right click and then you click on format sales. So under format sales now, you click on alignment. Then under alignment, you, you move this test, these icons that is on red, you move it up to 90 degree, and then after you change it to 90 degree, you click on border and then you select this line this line that is at the bottom here and then you click on this 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 and then this then you click OK OK, that is fine so the next thing for you to do is to give it color so for you to do that what you simply do is let's first start with this. You can put this to make it good and then you move it to the center and then you can give it color. Let's, let's fill it with red color. Okay, let's fill it with let's fill it with this color here. And then this also you give it color. You also give it color. You can give it any color. You can fill it with any color that you feel it's okay. Like this as well.
Then the last one, which is the challenges you can face with other colors as well. I think that is, is better like this. So this one here, you can just put it at the center. And then you can also put it to be very clear. You can just squeeze it a bit. Okay. So now the next thing for you to do is you select your MGL and your FGL. So you select the two, the two data, and then click on insert. So after you click on insert, you click on these icons that says insert line or area chart. You click on it, and then you click on this. Drop that that says line with marker. So you click on it. So this is the chart. This is the chart on the screen here. So what you just do is to move the two ones to this side here. And then after you move it to that side, you just extend it towards this place here. So this is the data you can see now. And then you can change the color to a different type of view that you like. You can see. You can see the chart type, you can see FGA and LGA. So you can select any one of your joints, any element to the display, any display that you like. So now, any changes you, you carry out on that data here, just like, let me just edit one of the things here. This one now, I'll change it to 70.8. So now, this is the data it has changed from the graph. Now, if I change this to, let me change this to 90.5. You can see that's still the job. You can also do what you can also change the title. For you change the title, what you simply do is what you click on this icon here and you give it me. Let me name it as a survey got easier. So you can give it any name of your joints. So after you are done giving it me, you can just do what you click on this file and then you click on what you click on print. So under print now it's going to come up. And then you print it out, you can print it as PDF, you can see any type of print file that you want to add it to you and any other things. So that is how to flow from the linear profile from Brazil. Thank you.